So if you want to understand uh, about uh, you know launching some virtual machines on your Mac, uh, this is the video for that. Um, so basically, uh, let's say you want to play a game in Mac and uh, you know you have uh, a Windows computer or you want to play a, a game which is made for Windows in your Mac uh, or you want to play a game which is made for Linux in Macs in Mac uh, or you want to do programming which uh, requires a Windows setup and you are using a Mac like I do and uh, if uh, you are using a you know Mac uh, your Windows computer you want to install Mac in it vice versa so in those th events you can use a, a setup called as virtual machine now what virtual machine does is that it uses an emulator which sits on top of your system and it allows the system to run the uh, the particular operating system uh, and talk directly to your uh, machine or through your operating system so there are two ways you know this works so either through your operating system or through your machine uh, and uh, these are some of the top uh, virtual machines that you can run one is called virtual box this is a product by oracle uh, this is another great product. It's called VMware. It is one of the best. I would suggest VMware over uh, VirtualBox. Um, then you have Parallel Desktop, which is another one. Uh, I, in my reviews, I found this to be okay, not great. Um, and this is paid. You need to pay money for this. This the version of VMware that I'm talking about. One of the versions is free in that one. Not both the versions you have to buy. Uh, VirtualBox obviously is free. Uh, and uh, then you have something called a Genome. I don't know much about this one, uh, but I wouldn't bother with either one of them and finally you have an option to go and install bootcamp now what is bootcamp now bootcamp is something where you know you are using the system let me explain it in picture okay so um, all these things are called hypervisor uh, for whatever reason so virtual machines are actually called as hypervisor and you can look it up in wikipedia if you want to so in case of virtual machine the operating system remains the same so if you're using let's say mac os your mac os doesn't change you can use mac os and you can put a virtual machine like a VMware on top of it here and you can run it as uh, uh, and the VMware would be running Windows any operating system uh, or Linux for that matter and it sits on top of your operating system which could be Mac which of course sits on your hardware now bootcamp is something where the hypervisor will sit on top of your hardware itself so it, it uses your computer's hardware capability and uh, RAM capability to the full extent without having another you know a layer here so for you know high-end games this is a good option but the problem with this is that all your memory all your resources are constrained you have to partition your disk you have to put memory which are specifically designed so if you're running a windows and a mac system on your uh, laptop then your mac's memory cannot be shared with your windows and your windows memory cannot be shared with the mac uh, so there are those constraints which are there so and you have to switch off your computer and switch on your computer if you really want to uh, you know use either system uh, so that is a big drawback of a hypervisor sitting on your hardware directly uh, in bootcamp alternatively you can use something called as virtual machine which is uh, sitting on top of your os this this may have some performance issues it may not be as good in terms of performance because it has to traverse another layer of os before it reaches your hardware but uh, it is much more uh, you know user friendly in terms of application you can use your mac os and windows in the same application uh, so that was about hyperware and one more thing you have to remember is that uh, you know if you're using a virtual machine you got to know that it does not support uh, you know games which have direct x 10 or direct x 11 so there is no direct 11 direct x 11 support so you have to find out if your game has that before you do that uh, so that's one more thing so that is bootcamp where you know it sits on top of your it uses your system and uh, hardware and your ram uh, and uh, if you don't want to do that you can use a virtual machine which is vmware or virtual box or parallel in that vmware is the best so that's a sort of a sneak peek into the world of uh, virtual machine